15 things you didn't know about Moschino. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. We welcome you ALUXers to another exciting video with interesting facts about one of the most eccentric and inspirational fashion brands in the world, Moschino. First of all, let's look at how this brand was created. Moschino is an Italian fashion luxury brand that creates and manufactures a whole range of fashion products and more. Moschino was founded by Franco Moschino in 1983 and quickly became famous for its originality, innovation, and campaigns that raise awareness about important social issues. Franco Moschino died in 1994, when he was just 44 years old, and the brand continued under the creative rule of Rossella Giardino, Moschino's assistant. Rossella Giardino brought in Jeremy Scott to be creative director of the brand in 2013, and he created the distinctive brand's charm and eccentric stamp. Rossella Giardino gave her creative spirit to the Missoni brand in 2014, with Angela Missoni announcing that they would exchange creative ideas. The Moschino brand includes the sub-branches Moschino, Moschino Cheap and Chic, Love Moschino, and Moschino Jeans. Moschino stores are present on six continents. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Now that we've covered some of the background, let's move on to the 15 things you didn't know about Moschino. Number 1. The brand's name is often pronounced incorrectly. English people usually pronounce the brand's name as Moschino, but the right pronunciation is actually Moschino. Number 2. Moschino has a quirky sense of humor. Jeremy Scott is the creative force behind the famous Moschino creations, and he often shows off his quirky sense of humor. One perfect example is the Fresh Couture perfume that was released in the fall of 2015. It presented a humorous and ironic concept with its bottle design that resembled cleaning solutions. Number 3. Moschino incorporates items such as shower curtains and trash bags in their fashion. Although this is something that has been evident ever since the beginning of the brand, extravagance, attitude, and character didn't lack in their fall-winter 2017-2018 collection. Their originality was seen in the materials used, which includes shower curtains and black trash bags as fabric for clothes, garbage cans as fashion accessories, and a bike wheel that made a wide rim hat. Number 4. Moschino created a collection to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the Candy Crush Saga. For the fifth anniversary of the popular game, Moschino issued a collection with bathing suits, bags, and phone covers for iPhone 6s and 7. The famous designer said, As someone inspired by pop culture, it was only a matter of time before I included Candy Crush in my design. The only thing I like more than playing this game is to wear it. Number 5. Moschino joined creative forces with Mattel. Another quirky and colorful red carpet moment happened when Barbie and Moschino joined forces and created quite a gift set. The looks are modeled after the outfits Jeremy Scott and Stella Maxwell wore at the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards. The Barbie wears a black velvet dress with graffiti, while Ken wears a multicolored tuxedo. The dolls were released in December of 2016 and sold as a gift set for around $200. Number 6. Moschino designed a teddy bear perfume. In November 2014, Moschino released a new perfume simply named Moschino Toy. Perfume and the bottle was placed within a teddy bear. You have to take the bear's head off to use the perfume, and the bear's shirt has an inscription that says, This is not a Moschino toy. The brand's founder, Franco Moschino, loved to use toys in his designs, so it's good to see the company continuing with his vision. Number 7. Moschino even had a chandelier as a part of their fashion collection. In 2016, Moschino gave us another dramatic fashion show and totally shaded Prada and Fendi, with smoking dresses, biker jackets inspired by retro fashion, and a runway walk styled as a ruined Baroque palace. One of the most memorable moments was a chandelier dress that definitely left everyone shocked. It was more evident than ever that Jeremy Scott doesn't want to be a designer like Karl Lagerfeld, Tom Ford, John Galliano, or Mucha, but instead wants to be an entertainer designer like the amazing Jean-Paul Gaultier. Number 8. Moschino collaborated with Coca-Cola 
Another exciting collaboration came in 2014, when Jeremy Scott created three can designs, including a black and white cow print, a design that looks like a vision test, and merry hearts that represent the colorful legacy of the famous Italian fashion brand. This wasn't Coca-Cola's first venture into fashion, because Marc Jacobs and Karl Lagerfeld also collaborated with this famous company. However, this was definitely the first time they had cow print and pink hearts on their cans. Scott used pink hearts generously in his spring-summer 2015 collection that followed this collaboration. The Coca-Cola Loves Moschino limited edition was introduced at the Milan Fashion Week in 2014. Number 9. Moschino got in trouble with the pharmaceutical industry in 2016. Even though everybody was already used to Moschino's eccentric style, and that anything and everything can be expected from them, their 2016 collection presented in New York created a lot of controversy and negative critics because it focused on medicines. The most controversial item was a clutch bag that looked identical to a pill box. There was also a postman bag that resembled a pill bottle, and there were t-shirts and bags covered in pills. The slogan of this collection was, just say, musky no, which was based on the common anti-drug campaign motto of, say no to drugs. However, there were lots of negative comments and critics, which eventually caused the brand to withdraw the majority of the collection from the shelves. When you try to branch out creatively, there's always going to be some haters. Click on the upper right hand corner to watch our video that will tell you all you need to know about haters and how to deal with them. This brand is very popular among celebrities. Moschino designed all the outfits for world tours, such as Kylie Minogue's Showgirl Tour in 2005, and Madonna's Sticky and Sweet Tour in 2008, and almost a dozen outfits for Lady Gaga on her 2011-12 tour Born This Way Ball. Tway Ball. Number 11. Moschino created a McDonald's-inspired fashion line. Just when you think that Moschino can't surprise us anymore, we find out that they have designed flats inspired by the most famous fast food chain, McDonald's. The quirky line with the recognizable McDonald's sign and colors includes t-shirts, bags, and other accessories. On the runway, a gown was patterned in the black text of an ingredient label, with nutrition facts written across the front. There was a red suit with a yellow trim that looked like the high fashion form of a McDonald's uniform, and there was even a $1,265 red leather bag that looked like a kid's meal box. Number 12. Moschino opened a design hotel in Milan, Italy. We always expect interesting and fairy tale like designs with lots of surprises from Moschino, and they did not disappoint when they opened a boutique hotel in Milan, Italy. The Maison Moschino Hotel was presented on the brand's website as a fall into the rabbit's hole, like in Alice in Wonderland. Every room is designed differently with elaborate fairy tale details, such as bed covers that resemble rose petals, Alice's room with teacup for a table, a forest room with trees for bedsides, and more. The Moschino Hotel is a true inspiration for every fashionista and artistic individual. Number 13. Moschino hired Katy Perry as a brand representative. Katy Perry is among the latest of the Moschino brand's faces, starting to represent the brand in 2014. Of course, Moschino wouldn't be Moschino, and Katy Perry wouldn't be Katy Perry if their collaboration campaign didn't cause quite a stir. Her very first ad included Katy with graffiti-covered topcoat, purse, shoes, and nothing else. Number 14. Moschino Designs Biker Helmets Moschino has been mixing the biker industry with their unique brand of fashion since 2008 with the design of their biker helmets. The Moschino fashion helmets are a result of cooperation between the brand and helmet manufacturer Max Safety Fashion. Their line includes black, white, silver and gold helmets with red and gold details, and geometric and wavy patterns, with their recognizable designer logo. Number 15. Moschino decided to dive into furniture design. As if everything mentioned previously wasn't enough, Moschino has decided to try their hand at a furniture design. Moschino presented a capsule collection at Milan Design Week this spring and summer in cooperation with Guffram, a company that manufactures furniture. Moschino gives us a glimpse of the collection that includes a biker cabinet as a redesigned piece of furniture with the spirit of Moschino's biker purse a couch in the shape of lips, and shelves in the form of shoes. Now that you've learned more about this awesome fashion company, which big brand do you think they should collaborate with next? Let us know in the comments. 
Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.